but the best chance of the game right there. And Corderman, who's been very active so far. Impressive save by Carini going down to his right. Good give and go up the middle. More pressure by the home side. Dribbles in. Goal! It dribbled all the way through into the lower right corner and Serbia and Montenegro takes a 1-0 lead in the 17th minute of play. 17th minute, too much pressure for the Uruguayan defenders. It is, of course, Dejan Stankovic. Well, number 10, they're probably the best player. I think Karim is blocked. Did not see the ball coming from the far side. That's where he usually plays in Inter Milan. Well, he's a steady player as he's proven at the club level with Inter and very consistent. A hard worker as well, and his hard work pays off here. 1 0. Stankovic with the goal. Official. Give him a chance to take their free kick. Hosa also behind the ball. Will be Stoyanov. Oh. Post and in! Goal! Uruguay has tied it up with under 10 minutes left to play. Well, Godin is celebrating as he deflect. They might have deflected it. 37th minute, 1-1. One, very similar, although this was from a set piece from the goal scored by Serbia. You are so correct. It is almost identical yep. to the way that Serbia and Montenegro scored their goal. The difference is that Godin is give, give credit to Godin. He scores the goal. Godin looking for this ball all along. He taps it in. And Uruguay comes back in the second half to tie this game up. Defender fell asleep. The keeper does not know what to do from those diagonal balls. It's very hard to decide what to do with those. Just don't have time to make he a decision. Froze. He did not make any, yeah. So Diego Godin off the free kick, makes it 1-1. 